I hope you're all doing well. I'm coming to you with another face of the day and reviews. This is a great way for me to showcase like some of my newer makeup, kind of like in real time as I wear it from day to day, and give you my thoughts as we go along. Some things I won't do a full review on, other things they still will get a full full, full review, but you know while I'm still reviewing them and in the process of me reviewing them you can kind of get little clips of videos like this. I did these for a while. Um, I was doing them pretty regularly a while ago on my channel and I think they're a good idea to kick back off again. So my eyelash is lifting a smidge and I'm about to take this makeup off so let's get into um, this look. I apologize for the very very yellow tint to my... there we go. Let's take that off. Um, Okay, so let's get into this look and I will, how this works is I show you my face, tell you what I have on, tell you how I feel about it, if anything's new or what have you. So let's go ahead and get into this look here. Okay, so, get up in here. My eyebrows are my dip brow uh, on the special Beverly Hills, nothing new there. Uh, on my eyebrows on my eyes okay this is a matte gray half cut crease with some burgundy and all that situation um i used a few shades from a couple palettes to blend out the red um i used a oh god i used a shade or two from the morphe uh 35m i used one of these matte browns in there um i also grabbed a shade from the other 35 no i also grabbed a shade from i'm all over the place the nyx swear by palette i used this to blend out some things too can't say too much about those yet because again still playing with them but the rest the burgundy uh the smudge underneath the eye the cut the gray on the cut crease was done with the cat 1d fetish palette okay so i used um, I use this shade here called Bondage. Am I reading it upside down? Bondage. I use Bondage um, in the crease, blown out situation. Cut the crease with Tarte Shape Tape. And I placed, because I saw this dark gray, and I actually wore gray today. I just have this hoodie on now. But I wore dark gray. To, no, gray, regular gray. I wore gray jeans, gray shirt. I don't know. It inspired my look. I don't usually matchy matchy, but saw that gray. S and M is what the S, uh, the gray is called. There, and that is what is on the cut crease. And I think this look held up well. I was kind of um, a little bit different. I was kind of uh, playing around. Matte cut cut crease, I think, can be absolutely beautiful. And just playing with it. I was just playing with it. As far as this palette goes, this is the same great Kat Von D quality of shadows. The matte was the matte mattes are beautiful. I only used the matte so far. Um, no problems. Blended well. I'll keep keep playing around, checking that out. Uh, on my lower lash line, I do have a gray liner on. It's Urban Decay Smoke. It's not a new thing. My lashes are Coco Lashes in Madame Wispy. That's the dried eyelash glue. I put the dot eyelash glue tip pro tip put the eyelash glue right there and then at the end of the day when you come back to take your lashes off to put it back in the pack you peel the glue off no waste here we go <laughs> so anyway i have that where was i my liner uh, my lashes i did that so on my face i primed again i used my regular moisturizer i put on some more of this hard candy fix it serum at this point oh what is that noise? I have one of those automatic air fresheners, and now it's empty, and it's making that weird robotic noise. Um, anyway, I also primed with the Sheer Envy Blur Primer. This primer is really weird to me, because you would think a blur primer, like that thick uh, NYX Pore Filler, L'Oreal Miracle Blur consistency. This is very thin and liquidy, and it, it reminds me, and it's peachy, it reminds me of this Becca what is this called Becca velvet blurring primer okay it reminds me of this like look at it I'll show you I'm gonna I'm gonna pump see the cap just run okay yeah it's really peachy and drippy and kind of weird um 
it definitely does blur uh not as much as some other things but it does make a little bit of a difference i, don't, I doubt it's gonna be a holy grail situation i doubt it all right moving on where are we okay primers foundation i am wearing the huda beauty what is this called full filter high coverage cream foundation i'm wearing the shade nutmeg 520g so one thing i love this bottle um really do love this packaging for some reason uh this again the shade 520g this is a really great match for my skin i blended it out with my favorite blending brush at the moment um oh god get myself together get myself together my favorite blending brush at the moment which is the uh japanesque high density brush i love it um i talked about it in another video really enjoying this brush so i blended that out it's 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 okay i don't this it's i don't know what to say it <laughs> um i don't hate it it looks it's nice coverage my skin is in a really bad situation right now i really have some breakouts going on um but i let's see knock it down um yeah my skin's in a really bad situation so i'm not gonna make too many claims on it yet but it's decent enough I, I like it enough to keep using it. It does have a nice matte finish, a nice natural matte finish. Uh, very good coverage. That's all I can give you. It's my first time wearing it. That's all I can give you so far. Uh, my oil did okay today, but I, um, I had on... I don't know if it's contributed to the primers or the spray that I use, so we're going to leave that open. My concealer is not new. It's my Maybelline. I blended it with the smaller... Um, What's this called? The smaller high density brush Griffin. Stop it. <laughs> he's picking up my contact paper on my thing. Now he's looking at. That's right. Oh, that's right. We're gonna get you. And play around. Griffin. Griffin. Griffy. Look at that punum. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. Anyway, back to the video. Sorry. Sorry. All right, blended out my concealer with that. With the smaller Japanesque brush. Uh, set it with makeup. Makeup forever. Set it with my MAC Studio Fix as well as some La Mercier uh, Sheer Glow Powder. All that's not new. Uh, I did not contour today. My blush is MAC Sweet as Cocoa, which is also not new. And my lip is my Fenty Stunner Lip Paint in Uninvited. So, I like this, this formula, but it's still not Fenty. This, it's not my favorite formula. One for two reasons. It doesn't last as long as some of my other liquid lipsticks that cost a little bit less. And the formula is just a, sm a smidgen too liquidy. Now, like my Amore Matte Lip Creams from Milani, they are very thin and liquidy, but these are even thinner than that. Like, I can hear this in the bottle. Like, like you can hear it sloshing around in there. Which leads to a very, it can be, the application you have to be very careful because it can be very messy. And I figured this out with all three. I've worn all three now that I have. The colors are beautiful, but and this is a classic black, full coverage, full on color liquid lipstick. I also do not like this applicator. I think it collects too much product and it is not precise enough to, it's like a little chubby, hourglass is not precise enough to really get get up in there very well and do the corners really well um and it just holds too much juice it's just too juicy uh but with that saying a positive of it being juicy is it's very comfortable because it's so thin i don't feel like anything is on my lips which is a, a significant plus and i do like that about it because very few like matte liquid lipsticks can give you that um i have a few that do but in the grand scheme of things um, it's definitely the minority, but I I do like the color. It's black. I love a classic black lip. No issues there. But these do start to wear in the center. And so like if you're wearing a black lip and that pink, the pink of your lip shows through, that's um, some people just don't like that. I don't. That's where I would reapply, especially with a black lip. So, 
yeah but there you go something i did not mention um something i did not mention hold on let me get it i have really been enjoying this spray this is the cryolin fixing spray um i've been spraying on my face and one thing that it does i don't i don't want to say it, it mattifies or or anything like that as far as how my makeup looks but honey this i wore a white shirt with full coverage makeup on this is what i sprayed on my face and i really focused the emphasis here in the neck area i didn't get any makeup on my white shirt and the same thing with today spray this stuff on it's like hairspray for your face i got this from imats um when i it is an aerosol hairspray situation um when i was talking to the woman who sold it to me they was like it's, it's used like in theater for theater makeup um definitely feels like i'm spraying hairspray on my face uh but it that it locks it in it really does you have to be careful because your face will feel a little like you gotta move it around a little bit <laughs> but it's so worth it to not get your makeup on your white shirt so i really do i really do appreciate that spray now i know i forgot thank you for staying to the end this eyeliner i did not mention it but i just remembered the liner that i have on is by absolute new york it's like a three dollar eyeliner it's their starry eyed shimmer liquid eyeliner okay and it is in the shade solar i'll tell you this love the eyeliner it's beautiful i hate the applicator i don't know if it's just mine this applicator is so hard it's like bent first off it's not even straight it's like a hard plastic thing it's very hard and like you do not want to poke too hard with this i don't like it um it took me i mean like i took my time with this line i had some scotch tape i took my time with it um but it's just not my ideal liner so this is something that you pull out every once in a while but i do love this gold and you can always just dip another liner brush in here uh dip a liner brush in here dip a um what is that thing oh well, no you wouldn't have to be able to dip an angled brush in here but like pour a little bit out and dip an angled brush in here because it's liquidy enough so that's how i would handle that and that's my look i'm sleepy i'm gonna take this makeup off and i'm going to give myself a facial that sounds wonderful if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!